Hi, this is Shupriyo from shupriyopanda.com and today we are going to discuss about Jeff Bezos and why he is visiting India. Let's begin. So first, we need to understand who Jeff Bezos is. Jeff Bezos is the richest man on earth right now and his personal net worth stands at a cool $117 billion. Uh, you must remember that in 2018, when the markets were quite high, his personal net worth stood at $150 billion US dollars. And uh, recently, you must have also read about the Australian fires. Now, he had donated about 690,000 US dollars for the Australian fires. And he was criticized for it because it was only a minuscule portion of his fortune. So imagine donating almost 700,000 US dollars to a cause just to be mocked for it. Anyhow, moving on, he's the founder and CEO of Amazon, uh, which he founded in 1994. And he's also the founder and CEO of Blue Origin. And he also owns the Washington Post, which is one of the most famous uh, newspapers, uh, international publications out there. And uh, Jeff Bezos has a history of online retailing uh, with his company, Amazon. And Amazon is also quite involved with the cloud services. Uh, there is something called the AWS, which is the Amazon Web Service. So many of the servers are hosted using that AWS. And AWS also gives you a host of cloud computing options. So they are also in that department. Uh, Amazon and Jeff Bezos have always believed in disruption. And they have disrupted many markets all over the world in various kinds of product categories and various industries as well and mostly it has been in the internet market uh, another thing which is quite interesting right now is that they have made a foray into brick and mortar which is the standalone stores that you right now have so uh, jeff actually bought uh, the whole foods market company uh, which is one of the popular brick and mortar companies of usa so he has plans to move into that as well uh, another thing uh, is that uh, they have quite a huge amount of investment in AI and uh, IoT, which is the Internet of Things. Uh, many of their warehouses are made in such a manner that uh, the people there do not have to be always involved and robots do much of the work. And AI is also being used to eliminate as much of human work as possible. And Amazon is considered as one of the big four companies, the big four tech companies, along with Google, Facebook, and Microsoft. So as you understand, Jeff Bezos is a big deal. Now we come to why he is coming to India. So Jeff Bezos and wooing India, it has been happening since a long time. Now, of course, it's a hyperbole that he says. However, he has right now said that the 21st century will be an Indian century. So as you understand, Jeff Bezos is quite interested in the Indian market and he sees a lot of promise in it as well. Uh, there's a recent report which stated that India will have a $100 billion e-commerce market by 2022. And just remember that only a small portion of Indians are shopping online. So can you understand how big the market of India will be? We might even be a trillion dollar market for Amazon later on in the coming decades. The next interesting thing is that the biggest Amazon office is not in the USA but it is actually in Hyderabad of all places. They have invested in a 9.5 acre campus in Hyderabad and it recently opened to much fanfare. So you can understand that Amazon is in it for the long term. Now he has uh, even announced a $1 billion investment to digitize small and medium businesses. And this is quite a big deal because it is going to be a huge amount of FDI that is coming into India because he is going to invest for the long term. And he has also met top corporates and politicians and he also had a fireside chat now this fireside chat is something that jeff bezos is uh, known for because he conducts a lot of these all over the world uh, so the amazon indian ceo was the one who was interviewing him where he uh, told all of these things uh, now he also mentioned that uh, amazon will be exporting 10 billion dollar worth of made in india goods by 2020 and this is a huge push to the Make in India movement uh, of our Prime Minister. Another thing that he mentioned at his fireside chat is that Amazon is going to be one of the only companies to be driven 100% by sustainable electricity by 2030. So Amazon is also quite involved in the climate change movement and in the sustainability movement as well. And uh, another thing that Jeff Bezos mentioned was that uh, he was also an SME 25 years ago. So he mentioned that Amazon started off as a small company and it grew big and wide. And his statement is that he is going to help Indian 
SMEs to get that kind of technology so that they can also take their businesses to the next level. Now, I hope you understand why India is so much important to Amazon. We are a huge global market. In fact, our market is compared only with China's market because we have 1.3 billion people in our market. So it's a huge opportunity for Amazon. The ease of doing business is also going up as we speak and it is a democracy. So understand that they cannot do many of the things that they are doing here in China. So as you see, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos has been pulling out all the stops for his visit. He was even in the traditional Indian attire and he tried to woo India as much as possible at every event that he attended. So his main focus is to have a huge footprint in India. Now we come to the protests that are also accompanying this Amazon CEO's visit. So this is mainly being done by the Traders Association people. And the Traders Association protests have happened across India in multiple cities. So why are the small traders angry at Amazon? One of the important reasons is the predatory pricing that Amazon employs. So they give deep discounts to kill the competition and make it a monopoly market. This is something which is quite similar to what happened in our telecom market. Because as you remember, Jio came out with free plans and all of the Indians subscribed to their plans. After a while, when they got a lot of traction, they came out with their paid plans and we were forced to stick with them because of the monopoly that they had created by lowering the prices as much as possible. So Amazon is a company which is a huge global company, right? And they have a lot of cash at their disposal. So they offer deep discounts in their products and the small traders, which are the mom and pop stores, are unable to compete with Amazon regarding this. Now, another thing which is quite interesting is that just a few days before uh, Jeff Bezos was scheduled to come to India, the CCI or the Competition Commission of India had ordered an antitrust probe on Amazon and Flipkart. So this probe was basically because they were giving preferential treatment to sellers. Now, under the current Indian laws under which Amazon operates, it can only sell products by third party people who are registered on their site. So this is quite a serious allegation and CCI wanted to probe into this. There was another allegation that uh, Amazon is preferring tie ups with the mobile brands. As you can see, there are many flash sales that happen and uh, there are huge revenue numbers generated by these sales. So why are those mobile brands being promoted by Amazon? Because Amazon Amazon has a huge amount of market share in the market. So you can understand that if Amazon is promoting those mobile brands, then effectively the other mobile brands are shunned. And if they increase the visibility of those mobile brands, then it affects the sales of the other players in the market. So this is something which is actually going to hamper competition in the market. Another serious allegation is that several preferred sellers, which we see on Amazon, are actually affiliated or controlled directly by Amazon. So this is a huge violation because as per the Indian laws under which Amazon operates, they can only allow third party sellers on their websites to sell products. However, if Amazon itself was affiliated with these sellers, then it would cause a huge legal problem for them. And this has not been substantiated yet. However, the case is still running and we don't know what's going to happen. So as you can see that the small traders are being impacted by a huge company like Amazon and they are not taking it lightly. They are coming on the streets and protesting against Amazon in multiple cities. Now with the announcement of investment of $1 billion and so much that uh, Jeff Bezos has promised, sometimes we do not understand the deep underlying issues that are being faced. So this is a news item that affects all of us because we all shop at Amazon and we also shop at the local Kirana stores. So if the local Kirana shop is going out of business because of Amazon, it is not going to be helpful for the economy in the long term. So this $1 billion investment that Jeff Bezos is making must be seen in the context of the wider economy. What is going to happen 10 years from now if we let Amazon get away with all of these practices? So this is why we need to be informed about the actual happenings in which Amazon is involved right now. And I hope I was able to give you a clear picture about why Jeff Bezos came to India and what are the allegations against Amazon. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.